Hey, what's up, guys? John Shea from the No Shame Income blog. Wanted to take a few minutes today to walk you through the course platform called usefedora.com. They basically have a self hosted platform where you can go and create a free course. Um, pretty, pretty simple to set up and get going, but I kind of want to cover the pros and cons and kind of walk you through. I did start putting together a syllabus with this particular course platform. And obviously, if you found me like on YouTube or elsewhere, uh, there is a link below in the video you're going to be able to check out and see a full post where I compare all the different, um, you know, some of the most popular course platforms out there. So with Use Fedora, um, you can essentially sign up um, for free, but they do have some kind of caveats to that. Uh, I'm going to go over the pricing page now and just kind of show you. So the way they sort of charge you and make money on their platform is they, they charge you a transaction fee. So it's a dollar plus 10%. So if I were to sell a course for $200, they would take 10% of um, any of those sales. And of course, in this case, it's free, but I've got um, some limitations on that. Let me see if I know, I think they get covered here. So some of the limitations would be like you, you can't do use their affiliate program that they would have with the basic plan at you know twenty nine dollars a month. You can't use a custom domain, which is really a buzzkill, I would say, for um, running a course that's going to be more self hosted. So your domain would be something like this one here. I set up. Um, I made one called niche SEO. So the whole my course webpage would be niche SEO dot use fedora dot com. I mean it's just it's not really that great. You'd rather have something that's a lot more uh, you know, simple, easy to remember, people you could promote it to. So um, then they've got the professional plan, which has like full white labeling. I mean, even with basic, they've got like their name all over everything. And they've got some advanced stuff, like you can provide author access, so people could also uh, you know, come in and do revenue share. So that's something they, they don't even offer until you hit the $100 a month. Uh, Udemy offers this right out of the gate. You don't have to pay a hundred dollars a month to do anything like that. Uh, it does look like they've got some, you know, good onboarding help. Two hours of free onboarding help, so that's a pretty cool perk. Uh, Udemy wouldn't be doing anything like that, for example, um, nor would some of the other platforms. And then it looks like here they've got um, advanced reporting, so it's kind of like, you know, you're essentially kind of getting your own little self-hosted platform, but at this point, and you're getting a lower transaction fee but you're paying a hundred dollars a month. So, I mean, unless you're really going to be, um, you know, hopefully you'd be making quite a bit more than that with your course. If you really do, you know, pull this off the right way, but, um, you know, you're, you're going to pay a little bit each month to do that. And then of course they've got like a high volume plan, uh, where I guess, you know, if you're doing quite a bit more then uh, that would be the way to go. So in terms of some of the features and things is they've, um, you know, obviously they talk about doing all these things like language support and you can do some advanced editing if you know HTML, CSS. Uh, you can really do any format, audio, video, PDFs, documents. <coughs> they let you keep your own list so you can actually see the data from your students that have signed in. You can actually see their emails. That's something you can't see in Udemy, for example. That's a big thing there. You can do quizzes. Uh, a lot of the other platforms I'm looking at do have quiz capabilities, and they've got you know most of these things are all pretty standard nowadays. You know they've got coupons, uh, third-party marketing integration. That's a pretty nice thing to have. They've got you know all these different uh, third-party email autoresponders. You can do the affiliate program if you go up a little higher in the pricing, and then they do have some landing page templates built in, um, and of course analytics to kind of see signups, revenue, all that stuff and even more on the admin hosting you know one of the biggest things i've noticed with um, this particular platform is they integrate w wistia accounts like right out of the gate you don't have to go and sign up for your own wistia account which might be i think minimum if you're going to be really doing heavy promotion there with volume you're going to be paying at least 25 a month for a wistia video account so i wanted to take you in and show you this is basically the basic landing page that comes out of the gate. I haven't done any customization, but once I head here, I can log in as an admin. And this is essentially what the back end looks like. So you've got your dashboard and you can set up multiple courses. So I started one called how to start a niche focused SEO agency. Um, obviously I haven't launched it yet, but 
I just wanted to show you guys you can make multiple courses you can track your students um, anyone you know authors if you have multiple people contributing and then there's all kinds of uh, regular customization it's almost like in WordPress you can go in and add like a favicon change colors you could add um, you know set up stuff for the home page do different thing with like fonts uh, of course there's color modifications you can make and they've got all kinds of other stuff in here for setting up like the domain and setting up custom links for different pages using custom text adding extra code um, you could change like a lot of these generic things like um, for like emails and passwords and things like that uh, but beyond that I mean a lot of this is pretty standard stuff you know here like they show you that they lock down some things on like reports until you upgrade the account uh, but if you go back into the courses area, I'm going to go into my SEO course here that I made. And everything's pretty straightforward. I mean, you basically put in your name and the name of the course, and you know you can set up a URL. So I just put in how to start an SEO agency. And they give you all the you know tools needed to set this up, you know, putting in a thumbnail, a promo video, very much similar to what you'd see in like Udemy, for example. Uh, you can even add an FAQ, um, which is a really cool, nice little feature. And what I liked is the syllabus is pretty easy to go through, very similar to some a lot of the other platforms. I mean, basically, you've got a main subject, so I already built the entire syllabus for this course. I haven't actually created the content, but um, you know, here I did like introduction, what to expect, learning SEO, building a simple agency site, and then I go in and you know basically talk about all the different things that I would be mentioning in my course pretty easy to get going and then of course they've got pricing you can set up not only like um, standard one-time pricing but you can also add other price tiers so you could have um, you know like here I set up something where I say you know I'll give you lifetime updates um, this one it's reoccurring so you pay forty dollars like you know up to I don't know six months or something like that and then here I might do like for three hundred I'll give someone like an hour phone call with unlimited email help um, you know, so they're going to get support from me like whenever they want if they pay a premium. So that's kind of a cool thing you can do with this. Um, you can bundle different content. Of course, you can set up coupon code codes. Um, you can do conversion pixels if you're doing stuff with paid advertising, things like that. Um, I really do like the platform. I'm very impressed with setting up everything. Um, the biggest thing that this particular platform really doesn't do is that they're they're not a marketplace they're not going to promote the course for you and in my opinion out of all the things that it comes down to it when it comes to creating a course I mean I could create this epic amazing course and if it, it's not selling and then really what's the point the point is to make sales and make money so now I might need to go learn about something like Facebook ads or running LinkedIn ads or running paid ad traffic with like Google AdWords or Bing um, all those things take a lot of time and it's very kind of hit or miss if you don't have an audience then it's going to be definitely pretty difficult to get going with this um, you're kind of be you're going to be looking at the same sort of situation if you're building off of wordpress but i'm going to kind of compare some of those and show you you know um, there's another tool i'm going to be showing you as well within the post i mentioned called zippy courses which which is wordpress based kind of similar to this but um, one of the biggest caveats with this as well is obviously they're taking transaction fees but when you kind of look at how they've sort of allowed you to put everything together very, very easily, um, I mean, you can kind of get in with a pretty good setup for under 30 bucks. What I also wanted to show you was there's a course I know that's on the Use Fedora platform. It's over here at uh, clickminded.com. And you can see here that They've got something, um, you know, th they've used one of their landing pages here. As you go down, you got to, you know, they got a pretty good landing page. I mean, this like nice slide in here, of course, includes this. They've got the social sharing. And this is totally like a white label. You can tell this guy's either using the pro or the high volume account. Um, and then he's got the different options he's set up for, you know, different teams and things like that. Um, he's got the, you know, he's even got like these discounts showing like normally a thousand now we're selling it for four ninety seven. Um, definitely a pretty cool opportunity he's got here. I wanted to show you what it looks like inside the course. Uh, I'm actually going to go, let me log 
log back in. All right, so I was having a little trouble with my password there. So I'm in the course now, and you can see basically you've got your syllabus here on the right, on the left, um, how to use this course. You know, this guy's basically set up something very similar um, as to, you know, what you would expect out of any sort of course outline. You know, how to use the course, introduction, and then as you go through, he can basically add in um, slides. He could add in, like, a little quiz here at the bottom. Uh, he's got a very professional HD video here that you can see is um, – being embedded with a Wistia video player. That's all built right into the platform. And then I know he's got, uh, if I go to another video here, let me see if I can, I don't know if it lets me skip around. I haven't really been in here this much, but I know in some of them you can actually change like some options here, uh, what player it's using. I don't know why it's not loading for me, but basically I know you can also add like other materials like PDF files, Word documents, things like that. Um, it's a pretty slick platform. Uh, I'm not really, you know, I'm pretty impressed with it overall. Uh, it's fairly easy to set up and get going with. I guess the biggest thing that would be you're going to have to pay transaction fees and in order to get really more white labeled approach, you're actually going to have to pay at least $30 a month to get started. So if you're a little nervous, maybe you don't have much of an audience. Oh, there it goes. So we talked about um, if you don't have much of an audience, you might find that you know, this is not going to be necessarily the best platform for you. You can go in and learn how to actually promote courses on your own, but this particular platform, they're not going to be doing any promotion for you whatsoever like you might get out of a Udemy platform. So thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful.